<laughs> What's going on, man? <laughs> Happy Friday the 13th. My name is Burke and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf. It's your boy, Jason. Yeah, Jason, boys. It's Friday the 13th, baby, and it's Five Thrift Store Friday! Yes, it's Five Thrift Store Friday, the happiest, most thrilling day of the week. So I got the old Jason mask with me today. We'll be hitting up five thrift stores, keeping our fingers crossed, and pray and praying. We're gonna pray, pray, pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. We're gonna be hitting up two thrift giants, two goody wheels, and a thrift shitty, baby. So let's head in here and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, well, let's see, what do we got? We got a Ferrari. That's a big Ferrari, too. What do we got down here? We got this little boat. I had this at one point in time. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's our boy, Buzz and mini buzz what's up guys oh we got uh oh check out that superman that's a cool one and then we've got thor captain america black panther another black panther what's this guy here huh. i don't know what he is does it have a year on it here let's see 2020 Jack Pacific. I don't know, he's kind of neat looking. I'll put him in the cart and look him up. Oh, and this, uh, oh, this is like a spider bot. Check that out. That's kind of cool. All right, let's put him in the cart too. And then we got this uh, dragon. We got this dino. We got a couple of robots, a couple of twin robots. Well, it turns out this is uh, made by Jack Pacific and brand new in the box. He sells for about 10 bucks, so I'm just going to pass on him. Haven't been able to find this dude online, but I think I'm going to pick him up anyway. Um, and just keep him in my personal Spider-Man collection. Oh, check out this big chopper. That's awesome. It even has the, uh, the pilots inside. Super cool. up inside yeah it's uh too big for me to bring home but that is pretty cool dang look at this big old monster truck grave digger and then we've got a, another pirate ship i've been finding a lot of pirate ships lately oh there's actually pirates down in here or what maybe seems to be pirates. <laughs> I got the, uh, see, does that go up on top right there? Yeah. Got the anchor. Oh, check out that dude. He's cool. And here's another one. We'll put him up here. Is there any more down in there? Uh, doesn't look like it unless there's. Nope. Just those three. That's cool. I better put them back down, down in there, though. Otherwise, kids will just take them. Oh, what do we got here in the glass case? Infinity Star Wars. I've got this Hollywood Legends Barbie. And nothing else, really. All right, y'all. I got him. The Spider Man robot. I guess uh, he's from the spider-verse movie or something like that i don't know <laughs> haven't seen that movie to be honest with you but let's jump in the car and do a little show and tell or maybe i did see that movie i don't remember anyway let's do some show and tell yep so he is from the movie into the spider-verse i don't remember seeing this guy in the movie so i'm wondering if maybe i didn't see the movie so i'll probably have to go get that movie i'll have to rent it and check it out you guys let me know in the comments below was into the spider-verse i think that was one of the movies right was it any good if so 
I'll check it out. But yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, he's $4.99, and I saw that he sold on eBay recently for almost $18. So he'll just go into my personal collection. All right, up next, we're going to go hit up the Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at the Goody Wheel, baby. We're at the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? <laughs> All right, so let's head in here and see if we can score some vintage toys. All right, anything in the glass case? No. All right, well, let's see what we got. Oh, here's a mask to go with my Jason mask. A lot of loopsie. Yeah, we saw this here last week. What's this thing? The Crew Remix. I'm not really seeing anything here. What do we got here in the bin? Oh, we got a Leonardo. Well, that's cool. Look at this BB Air. What is that? like a time capsule or something yeah this is cool i just don't think i want to get him he is neat though i've had him before oh, i got a little little crank here that's kind of neat oh, for that two dollars and two cents for that are you kidding me two dollars and two cents for this that's like hilarious. Oh, look at this Cabbage Patch Kid ceramic. That looks old. It's weird looking too. Almost as scary, if not scarier, than my Jason mask. Seriously, who's scarier, her or me? All right, guys, I got the tank, but I went up there and I complained about the price. I think the mask helped. They seemed a little intimidated. But I was like, come on. I said, hey, 202 for this? It's like a little chunk of plastic. And it's like, I said, fill this. And I handed it to her. She like held it in her hand. And she's like, how about 50 cents? <laughs> I was like, I like that. So I got the tank for 50 cents. It's actually a cool tank. It's actually, believe it or not, it's actually built pretty well, which leads me to believe that it might be older. I don't think it's like, because the new plastic tanks, they're really flimsy. But this one's actually pretty solid. So anyway, I thought it was cool. Up next, Thrift Shitty, baby. All right, my friends, we are here. We are at the infamous Thrift City. Home of the world famous glass case. <laughs> Man, I'm having some fun today. So, all right, guys, well, let's head in there and let's see if we can find some vintage toys. Let's do it. Well, right off the bat here in the shoe section, <laughs> we got this guy. It's like some sort of Optimus Prime. Made in China. I was looking to see if it had a year on it. We'll put them back over here on the shelf. All right, there you go. Now, let's see if we can find anything. Last week when I was here, I found some vintage G.I. Joe. I found a part of the vehicle called the Maggot. Cobra vehicle, but uh, I ain't seeing nothing today. Noah's Ark, a couple of masks down here, and that's about it. All right, well, let's go check. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. All right, well, let's see. What do we got? We got some die cast cars, some dolls. All of those plushies that were here, they're all gone. There, there was plushies in here that have been here for months and months and months. And they were like Halloween plushes, but they're gone. And what's that back there? Over the moon. Looks like pencil erasers and stuff like that. It's kind of neat. We got this uh, Team Beach Body guy. Green laser, 
This is a Hello Kitty guitar. Check out this old radio. These uh, Atari flashbacks are still here. This phone is still here as we're here last week. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in electronics either. I was kind of hoping maybe we'd find like a gaming system other than these things. These don't even have the controllers with them. All right, guys, busted. Man, this uh, Friday the 13th is kind of bringing us a little bad luck, it seems like. We've only had one score so far today. And it wasn't even like really like epic. It was just, you know, cool. Well, I shouldn't say that. We had two. We had the, the little green army tank. But we still got two more stops. So we're going to head across the street over here and hit up Thrift Giant, old Thrifty Pants. And then we'll finish up at the Goodwill. Actually, we won't finish up at the Goodwill. We're going to finish up today at Collectibles, Cards, and Games. I have... Uh, some stuff that they put in the back for me that I'm excited to show you. And uh, I'll be purchasing some vintage toys today from them. Pretty cool stuff too. So anyway, that's where we'll finish up today. So we'll say hi to the gang over there. And uh, I'll probably walk right into the store and try to scare the hell out of them. <laughs> I'll say, this is a, this is a robber, this is a stick up. <laughs> no, I don't wanna do that. I'd probably get shot. <laughs> they probably got a probably got a shotgun behind the counter or something. So, all right, let's head on over to Old Thrifty Pants and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, gang, we're here. We're here. <laughs> hey, you like my evil laugh? <laughs> I always thought I had a good evil laugh. <laughs> All right, let's see what they got in here. Enough messing around. Let's get serious. Let's get some vintage toys. Oh, wow, they got some big old boxes back here. Let's uh, zoom in here. Anything? That one has a lot of girl stuff in it. Nah, it doesn't look like anything of interest. All right. Let's see. What do we got on the shelves? Anything popping out at me? What's this? Yeah, that's a nice scuba mask. Looks like we might have some Lego stuff in this box. Oh, there's a La La Loopsie still in the box. Oh, they went for that. Ninety-one. Hmm. I wonder what she sells for. I think I'm gonna look her up. All right. Well, she's selling for twenty bucks, so she's not worth picking up. We'll just leave her for somebody else. Got some mold and paint dinosaurs. Oh, look at that. We can get ourselves a home beer kit. Uh, Mr. Beer. What's this? This is like a jumbo universal remote. Holy cow. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> that is funny. I've never seen a remote control that big. Oh, how could you go wrong with Kenny G keeping it sexy? How's oh, it like a game? Use the power of jazz to win the day. I think it's a game. <laughs> He's got his own game. That's that's funny. Oh, check out this little bowling game. What's this? Another it's like another remote? What is that? Rocking. Oh, it's a calculator in the shape of a guitar. A guitar. Oh, here's an Xbox controller. There's a couple of them here, actually. I need Xbox controllers for my Xbox. All right, so they went $12.91 for that. I'll probably get that. I'm assuming this one is just as good, huh? I don't think it came with the original game. But it appears that it would go... Oh, is this whole piece here missing? What's supposed to go there? 
love it. This has it too. I guess there's like other plugins you can put in there, huh? Well, I think I'm just gonna get this this one here. I'm gonna leave the other one over there. But uh, yeah, that'll go nice with the with the. Yeah, I need some controllers. You know, can't play the game without controllers. I, I need cords too. I need power cords. So, because all I got is just the console, and it's basically naked. It doesn't have anything, any accessories. So I'll grab this. All right, guys, I got it. I got the Xbox controller. So I looked it up online real quick. I was like, okay, like how much would it cost for me to get a pair of these versus spending $12.91 on this? And these controllers are selling for about 20 bucks each. So I figured I'd get this one. And if I can't find another one in the thrift store, I can always buy one for 20 bucks on eBay. So and still come out cheaper than having to buy two of them which were like $40 or something like that. So, all right, up next, let's go hit up the Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, here we are, the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? What do you got in there? What's on your shelves? What goodness do you have for your boy? <laughs> all right, let's head in here and see if we can find some vintage toys in the wild before we go pick up these vintage toys at collectibles, cards, and games. All right, well, let's see. What do we got on the shelves today? Maybe we can pull out a vintage score. It's like a little Wonder Woman girl. Something John Deere. What is that? It latches onto your belt. That's cool. Oh, yeah, one of these guys. Hmm. Well, guys, I think. We're gonna get busted. Avocado smash. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, look at this thing. Holy cow. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Dang it. That is like a marvel. That is awesome. Let me see this thing. Holy cow. go down like this that goes back look at that thing that is pretty awesome is there a figure in there no but for four bucks we're gonna pick that up that is freaking cool i mean look at the size of this monster is that is so cool now i think i said it was marvel but i think it's batman right isn't it it's dc i think it's some sort of bat bat something i don't know what it's a bat plane but it's not like a regular plane it's like a cargo plane or something i don't know but this thing is super badass and i'm definitely picking it up so we finished strong now this isn't vintage but it's a good score in the wild. I mean, it's four bucks, but I bet you this thing is worth way more than $4. I mean, this is probably like one of those vehicles that probably sells like for 50, 60 bucks or something. I don't know, I'll have to look it up and see what it's actually valued at, but regardless, I'm getting it. You know what's funny about this thing too, is that at Thrift Giant today, there was that helicopter and I said, oh, that's too big for me to take home. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it here. Yeah, it's uh, too big for me to bring home, but that is pretty cool. <laughs> this thing's like twice the size of that helicopter. Just goes to show, it all depends on like, you know, what you're really interested in, what you really want, you know? So 
can't pass this up, it's too cool. But uh, yeah, I think it's funny how I constantly contradict myself. Oh my God, how cool is this thing? Uh, <laughs> I'm just like giddy right now. I'm kind of jazzed up. I'm on that jazz. It's not that vintage jazz, but it's some jazz. That is freaking so cool. I don't know how much of it's actually missing, but let's uh, let's put it in the bag. I gotta put it in the trunk. We'll do a little show and tell. There's no way I can sit in the front seat with this thing. It's just too damn big. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, well, here it is. Let's open this up again. And then, I don't know what this tower is for specifically. Does it have a, oh, there's like a, I see. There's like a trap door mechanism here. Let's see if I can get this trap. Oh, here we go. It's got these little, it's got these little levers right here with that make it easy. You don't have to stick your fingers in there and pull it up. Like I was trying to do being a big dummy. And then you got your figure up, figure up there. And then you got the trap door mechanism. And then this apparently opens. Oh, there it goes. It goes down. I don't know what this string is all about. There's some sort of uh, some sort of crane over here. Is there a way to wind? Well, that's not a crane. I don't know. It looks like maybe somebody just put their own string on it. I can't imagine that string actually came with this. Um, but there might have been some sort of string. And then the little cargo area. It looks like the bottom of it may be missing, possibly. I don't know. Like, I mean, when this goes down like that, Yeah, and then we got this back here. I'm just kind of looking at things. And then looks like possibly this open. Oh yeah, this opens up. There's a little seat right here. And a little back computer. Yeah, I don't know exactly what this thing, like why Batman has this thing. <laughs> why does Batman have this thing? Anybody know? It's cool. Um, See if I can put that like that, and then that just closes back up. So, all right, guys. Well, hey, this thing is pretty awesome, and I'll probably just be holding on to it and keeping it for a while. But man, that is a nice finish to the thrift store portion of this vintage toy hunt adventure. All right, well, let's head on over to meet up with the gang at Collectibles Cards and Games, and uh, I'll show you what I'm buying from them over there. All right, guys, we're at Collectibles Cards and Games. Let's go, uh, let's go, uh, get in here and, I don't know, let's scare them. Let's do something. <laughs> What's going on, man? <laughs> Happy Friday the 13th. Happy Friday the 13th. Let's go get bad tattoos. Go get Love bad you. tattoos? Yeah. 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 Love to. This place I'm getting here is $20 ones right now. I already picked one out, but I can't pick Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they'll cover, right? She'll cover. I mean, sure. We can go two by two. Two by two, yeah. yeah. Everyone want to get tattoos? Yeah. That's funny. Hey, I'm here to get my stuff. Yeah, I'll get your yeah. box. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. It's the, the birth box. That's funny. Oh, man. Oh, this. Even better than I remembered. So, okay, the only thing with him is there is some something on the wheels here. This, I think it's I think it could come off. I just didn't want to. Oh, just a little like paint or something like. like oh it, yeah. It oh, I'm not concerned about that at all. But I checked the uh, I checked the axles and everything. Everything seems great. Okay, cool. And then this was from Space Jam, right? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean oh, to you're knock. Good, you're good. How does that pop open? Does these you push down or do you just? So these launch missiles. It does not have. Okay. Um, this, honestly, you just gotta kinda... Just... Yeah. Just kinda pop it. <laughs> kinda pop it, unfortunately. And All right. then... Alright, um, we'll try to get it off here in a second. something that launches this off the back as well. Oh, okay, there's like a button that you push there, and... Somewhere? I don't remember which one it is. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll play with it here in a second. Yeah. And then we got the big Leo. 
got the ghost from Ghostbusters. We got a vintage Slimer. How cool is that? And then we got the Batman. <laughs> Sweet. It's kind of cool they have this little gaming center. Like people can just come in and play games. They can sit there for hours and play games if they want. I think that's really neat that they do that for their customers. All right, well, let's see what they got here for Atari Amador. Never heard of that. I'll have to check the gameplay on that. That's cool. Oh, what's this? G.I. Joe Cobra Strike? I don't even know they made that game for Atari. Journey Escape, Kaboom. All right, so let's check out gameplay on both of these. Ms. Pac-Man, I've got that. Pitfall Phoenix. What's this one here? Planet Patrol. That sounds cool. Space Attack, Street Racer. Toot and Common. I don't know, check that one too. All right, what's this one? Tack scan Sega, but it's like an Atari cartridge. All right, let's look up gameplay on this one too. All right, guys. Well, yeah, I had to take the mask on in there because I first stepped in and everybody just stared at me and nobody said anything. They just kept staring, kind of like, all right, who are you? <laughs> so, but hey, I got some really cool stuff out of there. So uh, this stuff had come in and they had contacted me and said, hey, we got some stuff that you might be interested in. So got a great deal on it too. So let's go home and uh, set this up in the bunker and do a little in-depth show and tell. All right, guys, we're back at the bunker. Now it's time for a little show and tell. All right, now check this out. We've got the vintage 1996 Space Jam Moron Airship and nerd luck figures. I think they're called nerd luck. But check these little dudes out. It even has this little airship here in the back. And let me see, I, I accidentally earlier, I don't know what I did, I sat him down and it like detached, it like shot off. So he'll actually shoot off of the main ship, but I don't, I don't know how I did it. It was a, um, it was just an accident. I pushed down on something. Oh, is this it, maybe? Oh, that's right. These things actually shoot the missiles, he said. But, uh, surely. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, maybe it's, maybe it's this button over here on the side. Let's try this. Oh, yeah, there it is. Cool. Check that out. So. I picked this up. I'm not like a big fan of Space Jam, but for some reason, when I saw this, I was like, man, I gotta have that. It's so cool. Let's see if we can we lift this up. There we go. I got these little guys. They all have names. And I noticed, let me pull these guys out. They all have like uh, their names there, Pound, not Blanco, Bupkis, and Bang. And I don't really know which is which. I'm gonna have to try and figure, try and figure that out. After uh, I record this video, I'll probably do just a little bit of research to figure out who's who. But how cool is that thing? Super awesome. Again, 1996, man, vintage, you know, we can't, you can't go wrong with vintage toys. And it was so cool of them to think of me when they saw this, they were like, I mean, you saw they even had the box was labeled, labeled the birth box. So super cool. Next up, we've got Leo. This is actually from 2002 and he stands probably, I'm going to guess maybe 10 inches tall, possibly 12, but maybe around 10 inches. He doesn't have his weapons or anything like that. But how awesome is that? This is like the first like big turtle that I have like this. Um, I've had, you know, some of the newer turtles, like the 12 inch 
uh, turtles. Uh, I think we actually saw one today in today's video. Was that? Yeah, I think it was also Leo. Um, I think. Can't remember. But anyway, uh, the point being is that I've had some of the newer turtles, but I've never had this style of turtle in a big figure like this. And this thing is awesome. He's pretty heavy too. I like toys that have some bulk to them, some weight, you know? So I got Leo. And then we got this massive 14 inch Batman. Check him out. He's from 2018. So he's not vintage or even old for that matter. But man, he is pretty cool. And you know, his cape is intact. He's got some articulation, even here, like you can see the front part of his foot even bends, has articulation in it. So this is a really cool looking figure and it'll look awesome with my, uh, next to my Gotham City playset over there. So we got the Batman. I also got some real Ghostbuster stuff. So this is a vintage Slimer from the 80s. I did not have a vintage Slimer. I have a Slimer, but he's from like 2020, 2019, whatever that, that, that reproduction line came out, I think in 2020. I picked up a Slimer with that, but I didn't have a vintage one, so I got him. And this ghost here, he's actually from 2010, so I didn't even know they were making like Ghostbusters toys in 2010, so I thought that was interesting. So these guys will look great with my Ghostbusters collection, which I'll give you a quick look at that. So this is my real Ghostbusters shelf. I also have some Beetlejuice and some Dick Tracy and stuff mixed in here, but these are my vintage real Ghostbusters. There's the Slimer I was talking about, the newer version, the reproduction, but how cool is this? And the other thing I don't have is I don't have a vintage uh, Stay Puffed. That's also the reproduction. But man, I love my real Ghostbuster figures and I'll keep adding to this collection. They made so many toys and uh, one of the things I love about this line, I actually probably love the ghosts more than I do the actual Ghostbuster figures. The ghosts are just freaking so cool, so awesome. And uh, yeah, that's my Ghostbusters collection. We also picked up some Atari games today. We got G.I. Joe Cobra Strike. I can't wait to play this game later tonight. I ended up getting this one for free. It was buy two, get one free. So I got Planet Control by SpectraVision for free. And then I also got this TAC Scan game, which I thought was interesting because it's made by Sega, but it's for Atari. And last, but certainly not least, I've got Farmer Mikey. This is awesome, man. It's like, uh, like he's driving around. Uh, turtle deer <laughs> like a john deer you know but check that out i think uh the guys at the shop said maybe this is missing a piece i thought they said or no they were talking about the uh the paint on the wheel but yeah this is a really super cool piece and i'm really excited to be adding this to my collection i mean check that thing out we got like these big pizzas for hubcaps on the side and uh He's gonna need him some tools to fix a to fix his tractor if it breaks down. But luckily he can access the engine pretty easily. I wonder if there's actually supposed to be doors on the side of this, panels. Maybe you guys know, maybe you can comment below. Oh, he does have a tool. He's got a shovel right there. That's awesome. And then, oh, whoops. <laughs> and then over here he's got a pitchfork. How cool is that? Here, let me take those off and give give Mikey some tools to work with. Actually, you know what, forget about it. I just tried pulling these off and they're clamped in there pretty dang tight. And I'm afraid that if I pull them, I'm gonna snap them in half. And I don't wanna do that, but check that out. Well, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this content, this epic vintage toy hunt adventure, as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out, just stab it. Just stab that like button, stab it real good. Ah!
<sighs> Alright, so stab, stab the like button for me. That helps me out. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Stab it too. Stab it. Stab it real good. So hit the subscribe button. Stab it, if you will. And uh, turn on notifications so you get notified of my next video because I got a lot more great content coming your way and over 670 videos you can start binge watching right now starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.